Let me just introduce him once more, Babu Owino, Member of Parliament for Embakasi East. It's great to see you. Let me get my handshake also. <laughs> Since these handshakes shake. have been... Oh, it's a woman's shake. Yeah. Uh, because these handshakes have been thrown all over the place. So yes. what happened in Parliament, and we'll be showing the video shortly, uh, did you anticipate that? Did you plan to do anything of that sort? Uh, actually, Betty, what happened, there's a new trend that has been set up in the nation. Mm -hmm. Before, we had a handshake between uh, President Uru Kenyatta mm -hmm. and Raila Odinga that opened the floor. And when the president came in parliament, he equally opened the floor. Mm -hmm. In his speech, he, more, he mentioned about the handshake, spirit of reconciliation right. and togetherness. Right. So because of that, the juice was worth the squeeze <laughs> for, the interest of, for the best interest of the people that yeah. we serve in this nation. Yes. At least that handshake. It was timely. It was timely yes. indeed. And, uh, you know, when, when we'll be looking at that video shortly, when you went to, you know, to, to say hi to him, um, what was that like? Because, I mean, you know, there were things that were said by you, you know, in the past. And, um, you know, many people were really waiting to see if this reconciliation will actually happen. I think, Betty, as a leader, uh, these things are never personal. Mm -hmm. There is nothing which is personal. All these matters that we are doing were just political because we, de we belong to different political divides. Mm -hmm. My political ideologies were different from uh, the Jubilee's political ideologies. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was nothing which was personal. Right. So for the best interest of people again, so that our people can get services. This nation needs to move forward mm -hmm. because uh, this country was fought for by our forefathers. This nation, there are people who fought for it. The, the freedom that we are enjoying, mm -hmm. the democracy that we are now enjoying, is as a result of people who fought for it. So we should not just take a few months to destroy this nation. Right. So we need to come out, we need to be the bigger person as a leader mm -hmm. to embrace unity. All right. Yes. Are you remorseful about the words that, uh, you know, you, uh, you said, you know, a few months ago with regard, you know, to the, uh, uh, to, to the mother of the president? If you remember the words that, you know, many Kenyans really, there was that outrage, you know, you know, how could, you know, Babu, we know a leader say something like that. Are you remorseful about that? There's a president that has been set in the nation mm -hmm. and we saw the other day uh, President Uru Kenyatta mm -hmm. apologizing publicly for the things that uh, uh, he, uh, he might have done right. that uh, or we might have said that hurt uh, some people in the nation he mm -hmm. apologized because of that mm -hmm. me as a leader as Babu Owino I also uh, I also apologize uh, to any person from the president to the Mamamboga mm -hmm. any person that I hurt with my words or my actions mm -hmm. uh, I, I can just tell them that I'm sorry because we belong to this nation and we need to build it together mm -hmm. and you know uh, in times of war when you are fighting them they always casualties mm -hmm. and when you are fighting when you have your arsenals you release everything mm -hmm. so whatever happened happened and in the spirit of moving together Mm. Everybody should be forgiven in that. Right. Yes. Many people, you know, on my Twitter handle are asking, you know, how sure are we that, you know, this is just not cosmetic, that indeed, you know, this, uh, you know, trial of uh, reconciliation and healing is actually something that is solid, that, you know, come 2022, we'll not see another, you know, turn of events where you're seeing all these things being said by, you know, different politicians. Uh, His Excellency Raila Moludinga served in this nation in the public service mm -hmm. from over 30 years. Mm -hmm. We have uh, President Uru Kenyatta served as a member of parliament before. He's now serving his second uh, term as a president. Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, because of this uh, experience, and uh, in their poli because of the experience in their political career, mm -hmm. I believe that uh, what they said they are committed to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So we will be taking a short commercial break right now. We're coming in to continue with our conversation with uh, Babu Owino. I've seen quite a number.